Good morning. Jim here with Bowie's Bees. It's Saturday morning the 21st. Fighting a little bit of a cold. Just took my first sting, which I'll explain in a separate video. But uh, this morning I'm doing a little hive maintenance on hive number two that I could not finish yesterday afternoon. Beautiful morning here in South Carolina. And I'm gonna give these bees a little bit of smoke to hopefully calm them down. Again, I, ha I do hate to bother them this morning because it is a uh, a beautiful day, very little wind, the bees are working hard, but I need to get inside these hives and check a couple things. This is the one I worked on yesterday, and if you remember we did some beetle blaster traps and put in some homemade beetle traps. I did not put my strap back down on it, so you've probably noticed these straps. These straps are in place to not only secure the hive, but to also keep predators out. Um, I haven't seen any predators try to get in or come up to these boxes, but we do live back here, technically at the edge of the woods, and there are uh, one little bee on the top box there. Um, you know, there are animals back here that could potentially want to get into this hive. So, I've done a few things today to try to prep and make these videos go a little faster. I know I've gotten long-winded and I'm really just trying to learn and go back and watch what I do but also give you good information if you're a beginner beekeeper like I am to try to figure out, you know, to show you what a hive inspection looks like and to go in and take a look at the things that are happening within a hive. Now if you remember from my very first video, alright that's interesting. I, I did remove a good bit of burr comb from this one, but not this one, which I dealt with yesterday. But as you can see, I'm trying to pull this top box off and it's kind of stuck down. So that's telling me there's probably some burr comb in here. I'm going to go around this, there we go, with my hive tool. And actually, before I do that, I'm gonna puff a little bit more smoke down in there. This hive seems to have a lot more bees in it. Woo, and there they are, they are buzzing, buzzing. Oh, there's a hive beetle right there. So I know there's some hive beetles in this uh, in this hive. Let's see if I can get that sucker. That, can you see it? Is a hive beetle. That little black beetle walking right there. And that is what you don't want in your beehives. That is one of the animals that can cause problems with your hives in this area along with varroa mites. So I'm gonna do a couple things today like we did in this hive yesterday to try to prevent those beetles from causing a lot of problems. Okay, so just like yesterday, I open up this hive and immediately we've got burr comb that is being, burr comb that is being produced along our queen excluder, which as you can see, this is kind of glued down. And I'm gonna take this off and scrape this off because that's what needs to happen. Whew, we got a lot of action in here. I don't know if you can see into that hive from the camera, but it is, uh, it's happening. do this a little bit faster. The faster I can get in and out of these hives the better. Less disruption to the bees and less of a chance of taking stings which as I said earlier I took my first sting this morning unbelievably not even anywhere near a hive. I was sitting on my back porch and watched my other video to see what happened there from this morning. My finger still hurts. All right, here's some bees working on some burcom here. I don't know what they're doing but they're getting ready to be ticked because it looks like maybe they had started some honey in that comb. This is not something that I learned about in my class about burr comb and your, and your queen excluder. Um, my, uh, my teacher in my class actually said he doesn't use queen excluders which I can explain why in a, in a different video later on. But this is, uh, this is a mess. It's sort, sort of like trying to clean out a 
really trying to clean off really thick wax off of a grill or something of that nature I, uh, I might need to take this out one day and take it away from the hive and you know run some maybe run a hair dryer over it or something to really get all this out completely but I'm not going to do that now but heating up this wax would make it a whole, <laughs> whole heck of a lot easier to get off and based on my other video, I can assure you I'm going to make sure that there are no bees trapped in this wax and left to sting me later on, which is what happened this morning. And my right index finger is uh, feeling it as we speak. Go on, buddy. Get back in the half. All right, that's all I'm going to do with that right now. Okay, so a good bit of burcomb there, a good bit of burcomb across the top, which I've already scraped once um, when I first installed this nuke, but I'm going to take it off again, you know, with the hopes that they'll quit doing that. Um, it's not good. You want them building, you want them building inside the frame, building out the frames, not building burcomb. Out, you know on top of the frames these, these frames are bridged together with burcomb which I think is okay but it'll make them more difficult to get out and inspect um, all right so first thing I'm gonna do is take a look at this little outer frame here which was a one of the ones that I left in, this did not come with the nuke. Let's see what kind of work they've done here. Also gonna obviously keep my eye out for the queen. Pretty cool. So, nothing really happening on this side, but if you take a look at this side, you'll notice they started building out and they've started filling up the comb with different types of things. Um, you've got some pollen. It looks like we've got some honey in there. So, oh, there's some larva. So some, some pretty neat stuff happening in this little frame in the last week. Also looking for beetles you know that's one of my big objectives today and we haven't talked about varroa mites yet but I'm gonna start watching out for varroa mites as well and see if I see any attached to any of these bees um, that's a whole another problem in this area and a huge huge issue for for bees there are it can devastate a hive in a hurry those mites and there are a handful of things I'll be doing as I progress with these hives to try to protect them from Varroa mites. Wow, this is super heavy. I mean, this has got to weigh, I don't know, six or eight pounds maybe? Goodness gracious. All right, so this is capped. There is a ton of capped brood here. And there's also a ton of action going on across the bottom of this frame. If I had to guess, the queen is on this somewhere, but I'm gonna probably need to have one of my beekeeping mentors look over this with me and tell me what all's going on here. Um, if you can see. I can only assume that that's larva that's about to hatch. Um, a lot of burcomb across the bottom. I hope to goodness that's just burcomb and not some type of queen cell that they're working on. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that back in for a minute. And I know I'm big time disrupting this hive this morning. And I'm probably going to 
injure a few bees right here, unfortunately. All right, folks, out of the way. Oh, maybe not. I do have a... Uh, frame holder, and I've never used this before, so let's see if this might help me out a little bit here. Whoa, not happy. Whoa, big time not happy. All right, hang on. See if I got any smoke going here. I can... mm, not much. Uh, ooh, hot. Smoker's hot, but it's not blowing much smoke, so. Well, I'm just going to have to deal with not happy bees. Let's see what happens. I'm going to pull that frame back out, do a little work on the Do a little work on that bottom section and see if yeah. okay. So, as you can see, I'm getting attacked worse than I ever have before. They are not happy with me whatsoever. There's a ton of burr comb. I think it's just burr comb. I don't think they're building a queen cell. Expose my lower back with this short jacket. That would be uh, that would be absolutely no fun to take some stings in the lower back. Let's see if I can make sure there's no burr come across the top of this. Hey, Madeline. Yeah, stay stay up there, honey. There shouldn't be, but these bees are not happy with daddy right now. Okay? So my hives are about 50 or 60 feet away from my house, my back porch, back here near the woods behind our house. I do have three young kids. Um, you know, my understanding is that these honeybees are relatively safe as long as you don't mess with them. Um, approach the hive from the front aggressively or anything of that nature. I, um, I had too many issues yet. Um, like I said, I had never been stung until this morning, which was totally my fault and a really dumb move. But I learned a lesson. So this, this frame looks really good. Got a lot of cat brood going on. We got some brood that's going to hatch here pretty soon. It's pollen. I am going to place it and see if I can remove some of the burr comb along this front edge without dropping it or interrupting. I mean, these bees are all over me. So this is this is a, a standard once a week maintenance that I'm doing on these hives. So if you're looking to get into beekeeping, this is what you should expect, I believe, um, from from what you've got to be okay to deal with, which is you know have the right gear and hope you that it holds up and the, and the bees don't. Um, you know they really. They want to do their work, but they're trying to protect their hive. Um, and they are, they are really not happy with me at the moment. I don't know what's going on here, but...
Again, all burr comb across the bottom. Don't know if these are, certainly hope none of this is the production of a queen cell. There are some strange looking things going on across the bottom here. But I'm gonna get my work done and get out of here and maybe show this video to one of my, like I said, beekeeping mentors who, gosh. Very heavy frame, full of cat brood. These are feverishly working. Yep. Again, a bunch of burr comb across the bottom that I'm going to remove. And at this point, Moving a little faster than I want. I don't think these bees could be any more upset with me than they are at the moment. So I'm just trying to get finished here and get the heck out of this hive as fast as possible. Although I do have to keep my wits about me and try not to make any big mistakes. I did go ahead and fill up the beetle blasters with oil instead of doing it In the hive, I did it outside the hive just to try it that way. Good gracious, look at all that. That's just bees, there's no burr cone there. So, yeah, they are uh, not happy. Okay, kiddos. Here are my beetle blasters that have been pre-filled with mineral oil. I'm going to get them into place. I did see one hive beetle in this hive earlier. I have not seen any more. And again, one of the complaints on these bee, bee blasters is that they space your frames out too much. But this seems to be doing pretty good. I'm able to get them down flush, which again, you don't want them raised at all because then the beetles can hide underneath that black part so i'm done there i'm gonna get the heck out of this thing again probably clean this up later once i can maybe take this out and put some heat on it and i'm hoping that maybe i've gotten enough of this burr comb out of here that they'll stop building that get out of here come on i don't want to squish it there we go there you go Oh goodness, we got to take out, yeah, I forgot to take out my frame holder. I'm just gonna leave it for now. It can stay there till next week. I'm going to come back later and get that burr comb. Sure. I'll be done in a few minutes. Okay, again, go stick another one of these homemade Actually, I'm gonna wait. As you can probably tell, these bees are very agitated with me this morning, and I don't blame them. I need to, I scraped off all that burr comb. I need to uh, take out that um, entrance reducer in order to plug this in. I'm gonna do it later.
Thanks for watching. Have a great Saturday. If you like my videos, remember to like and subscribe on my Bowie's Beads YouTube page. Thanks.